Oh. And we're off with 1322 on the blue alliance. Aiming and firing a bunch of power cells along with their partners 3322 and Rush. Looks like they only need one more power cell to complete stage one. Over on the Red Alliance, we have 5260 moving away from the scoring area where they scored in an in autonomous mode. Currently, they're picking up power cells from the rendezvous point. 7894 is trying to play defense against 97, pushing them back into the rendezvous point a little bit. 90, 27 evades 7894 to get to the human player loading station. By the way, both alliances have completed stage one and have moved on to stage two. Back over on the red side of the field, we have 3322 for the blue alliance scoring some power cells, while their partner 30, 1322 is looking to get some power cells off the floor. Over by rotation control, and the trench 27 has lined themselves up to shoot some power cells. 3322 doing the same thing for the blue alliance. We're going to talk about the Red Alliance for a little bit, because 2145 is over by the human player station, picking up some power cells to bring over to the blue side of the field for the Red Alliance. 5260 gets some power cells into the bottom port with less than a minute remaining in this match. The Blue Alliance need seven power cells before they can attempt rotation and control, which the last time Rush was on the field, they were, they completed that, but didn't quite make it to rotation and control. 7894 is trying to play defense against Rush, who is trying to get power cells from the human player station. They evade it. Looks like 5260 and 2145 are are trying to hang, one of which are, there's five seconds remaining. What will Rush do with ooh, such little amount of time left?
Let's take a look at the scores. Woo, the Blue Alliance wins this match, leading the Red Alliance 145 to 82, earning two ranking points for the Blue Alliance.